This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, U.S. stocks notched a weekly gain after a surprisingly strong jobs report alleviated recession fears, but cleared the path for the Federal Reserve to possibly raise rates sharply at its next meeting in September. The U.S. added 528,000 new jobs in July, more than doubling estimates for 250,000, while the unemployment rate dipped to 3.5% from 3.6%. Now, if you're in the recession camp, there's no sign of one here. The strong report caused most of the financial markets to respond just as you'd expect. The Treasury yields jumped, U.S. dollar surged, and the chances of a three-quarter point interest rate hike in September rose to 65% from 25% the week before. Of course, the stock market is worried about more than just the Fed. Heading into earnings season, everyone seemed terrified. The good news, with 332 S&P 500 companies having reported, aggregate earnings have come in above expectations, as 77% of companies have reported better than expected profits. Revenue, meanwhile, is growing to 13% clip, helping to drive those earnings beats. This hasn't kept future earnings estimates from being revised lower, but the drastic cuts that were expected haven't materialized. Margins, too, are holding up better than feared, thanks to the ability of companies to pass on higher input prices while keeping a lid on other costs. Now, the correction in the market, as I have commented many times, has been a price adjustment to higher rates causing P.E. multiples to contract as rising rates reduce what investors are willing to pay for those earnings. Treasury yields, which had previously slid on hopes of an eventual peak and drop in Fed funds, reversed to the upside. On the week, two-year notes jumped 35 basis points to 3.24%, while the 10-year rose 20 basis points to 2.8%. This inversion of the yield curve with a two-year 41 basis points above the 10-year is a popular harbinger of recession. But the Fed prefers the yield curve gauge of the three-month Treasury versus the 10-year, and that remains positive by 35 basis points, although that spread has started to shrink. So inflation is sticky but economic growth is also sticky. And that puts the Federal Reserve and you, the investor, in a bind. Something will have to give. Markets will continue to be volatile as the tug of war between PEs and earnings continues. Now, looking ahead to next week, all eyes will be on the inflation readings, particularly the July Consumer Price Index slated for release on Wednesday. Forecast call for a slight rise, largely owing to the slide in retail gasoline prices, that would trim the year-over-year -year rise to 8.7% below the previous month's headline grabbing 9.1%. Still, don't underestimate the U.S. economy. Like a Timex watch, it's taken the Fed's licking, but it keeps on ticking. Many markets have already recovered half of this year's decline. The economy is resilient, and with the current contraction in multiples, stocks look cheap. And last I looked, good things happen to stocks at cheap prices. Hey, my son, Ryan, and I, we have 68 years of combined industry experience in building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you have to do is reach out and call us or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692, or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here with Payne Capital Management.